Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's story, I'm going to show you how to design a simple birthday flyer just like this. So, we're going to set up everything and then we'll be able to design something like this at the end of the day. We're going to take everything step by step with no steps skipped. So, remember to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notification. And also, give me a comment at the comment section. Give me your suggestion what you think about this. If there's any improvement, let me know at the comment section. So we have to jump right into action and see how we can design this amazing but simple birthday flyer. Okay, so what we can do is to set up our background. And I'm going to design using this image. I'm not going to change the background, but if you choose to change the background of this image, you can equally do that. You can just go to the select from the main menu and click on what subject. I'm going to select the subject for you. Just wait for that to load. So this an ai tool that will select the entire image for you and then you can remove this image from the background or you can easily use a pen the pen tool to do the cutting there's other websites if you go to remove.bg you can also use that website to remove the background of this image but in this design i just want to stick to this particular background you can see the entire image is selected if i want to remove the background i can just go back to select and go to invest and then i can press delete to delete the background you can see I've been able to remove the background and I can give a different background to this image for our design. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to this normal background for this design. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. And I'm going to use this image like this. And you can see the size I'm using is 10 by 10 inches. I'm going to set up that exact size. But let's go to File and then click on New. So when you click on you need to set up your background in my case i'm going to do it 10 by 10 inches and the resolution is going to be 300 every other thing is basically going to be the same and then i'll click on create okay so this is going to be our main background and we are not going to do anything much we go and then we drag that image whatever image you want to use in case you want to change the background use the process i taught you to do that so you select the move tool and then drag this on top of our main image just drop it this way and you can see how this is made, going to look it's quite big and then we just want to position it to look like our main design so this is our main design so we need to actually drag this image at the wrist sizes so we have to drag so with your move to select I just drag out you have to drag this out keep dragging so you have just the head part that is what we want to display so you can just reposition and just drag the edges out to get the size you want okay so i'm going to do something like this and i think this is exactly what i want if you want to drag it down you can still do adjustments and this is okay the reward i'm going to use is exactly what is on the canvas what is outside the canvas is not needed just click on the check icon here to confirm this just wait and then we have our image set up this image of quality is okay for me if you can if you decide to improve on that you can just go to the filter select the camera raw filter and then you can easily do some modification okay but before that you realize that my options are not active if you want it to be active make sure you select that particular image from the layer panel and when you go back there it should be what active okay so now we need to go ahead and then start typing the details for this so this is the final work and we'll see that I have some rectangle border around this. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And we are just going to type this. This is just a straightforward wishing you a beautiful day with good health and happiness forever. So if you want to type this, just pick your that's the horizontal type tool and then you can type this. I'm not going to type this. I'll just drag this. Typing is just straightforward. So I'll drag this on top of this. I'll drag it to my main design here and then just drop it. Okay. I'll just drop this here and I'll go ahead and then enlarge this. Okay. Basically, if it's small, I'll just drag out with your move tool. Just drag it and then just confirm the size by hitting the check icon here and then just reposition this right here. But for the other information, I'm basically going to type the happy birthday. For that, I'm going to type there and I'll show you the font I used for this. I used a font called Edwindia. I'm going to use that font for this. So let's go and then let's type this. The birthday, we're going to use a white font. So once you select that, make sure the font over here is changed to what white. 
from the option bar select and then change the color to what white so I'll select white from here okay before that let me type and then change that now and then that is going to affect what i've done already so i'll click and then i'll type happy birthday okay so this is quite small just select and then just enlarge the font from the option bar just enlarge that and then we want to change the font to white now so select and then from the property bar that's the option bar and then change it to white and we're going to give it a shadow we'll give it a shadow and then also a stroke if you compare to the final work rather i have some shadow and then some light stroke around it so you're just going to do the exact thing for this design so let's go back to our main design and then we just focus on this select it from the layer style layer style double click on your layer style and then open your layer style and then click on the stroke we want to give it a light dark stroke let's put it around four and then we'll click on shadow we'll give it a light shadow as well you can adjust the size the distance a bit and i think this is okay so now we need to change the font so with your horizontal type to select uh, just select the font highlight it go to the option bar at the top and then type this font edwinda edwindian so that is the font over here that's the edwindia script that is the font you are going to use this is the font just select that and if you don't have it you can easily search for this and download it online so i'll just enlarge this font a bit use my move tool and then just position this okay so if you compare this to the final work you can see everything is almost the same and then we can go ahead and type the birthday over there so select the, your work and then we're going to type birthday so now we're going to use the dark font and let's first enlarge this increase the size before we start typing you can type anywhere and then drag it back so let's start typing so let's say birthday and that's all let's just select this and then what reposition this with our move to select it and then we'll reposition this and just position this here position it anywhere you want and just confirm that okay so i think over here should be good once it's visible that's okay you can see this font is quite bold if you want to go with something like this just change the font there's a font called impact which you can use will make your font look very bold and even this option for the calibre that you can change okay you can select your entire font from here so the birthday let's select and then from the font option i'm already using both but it's not too bold so i'll change it to impact i'm going to change this to impact and this is going to be better i can just enlarge this a bit so the impact font will make it look appear very bold okay so everything is set now we need just two things to be done with this particular design we need this white border around it and then we also need some circle over here faded one so let's go back to our design and then we'll bring our circle first go to your two panels select and hold down on the rectangular tool and then select the ellipse tool and then the ellipse tool let's just select the color fill color and then change it to a light yellow for now select that and then now what we're going to do let's drag it over here if you want to get a perfect circle hold down shift whilst you do the dragging and just leave it release it and then you should be getting that color you can change the color by selecting and then even clicking on it from the layers panel and you can change to any color at all you want once you click on the layer panel and you click on color overlay you can start modifying the color okay you can also reduce the opacity of that color if you want so even though i selected this i can even reduce the opacity of it so you can see how this is going to look like and i'll leave it like that you can change it any time at all you want the last thing i'm going to do is to add a border that's the white border around this image so let's do that remember to like subscribe and give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video so i'll go to my rectangular tool again select that make sure you select the right tool select the rectangular tool and then just draw it over this entire image like this we want a border so we'll just release we'll change everything the fill has been set to yellow so we have to turn the fill off so select the fill color and then click on this where we have the cross passing through the diagonal red which will disable that but we're going to turn the stroke rather on so click on the stroke and then we need to select a white color for that and then we need to 
increase the pesos so just increase the pesos a bit so you can see then this is going to make it to appear something like this so so far so good everything is set even with this border you can add some shadow effect to it if you want to do something like that you can just go ahead so this is how to design a simple birthday flyer and you can save this into a picture format and you can share with others if you want to do that just go to file and go to save us and then make sure the save our option you select what jpeg and you can share this on social media platforms so select what jpeg and then give a name whatever name you want to use just do that okay so let me just leave it as default click on save and just confirm this by clicking on ok and this should be done saving so this is how to design a simple birthday flyer for well, this video remember to turn on post notification subscribe as well and like this video till i come your way again bye bye